to here at Staples Center. Well, I got a great opportunity to visit with WNBA champion and Indiana Fever superstar Tamika Catchings as we discuss the variety of topics from her first WNBA championship, Pat Summit, her friendship with Candace Parker, and what it takes to be a leader to keep this team together despite their many setbacks and injuries. What is it like to be a WNBA champion? <laughs> It's a great feeling, um, you know, definitely coming off of last year and, and getting that win. And, uh, you know, I think just going through the progression of that season last year and, and just uh, being able to step on that podium at the end with that trophy. Did you kind of have a chip on your shoulder because you guys weren't the exact favorites to win the, the championship or even be into the finals last season, but you played an outstanding game of basketball for, I would say, pretty much 80% of the series. So did you have a little intensity, a little chip on your shoulder? Yeah, um, I mean, having been in that situation before, looking back at 2009 and you know, just getting to the finals, and I feel like every single series we were the underdogs. So for us, it was a matter of, hey, don't worry necessarily about whether or not you win or lose. Like, we just have to go out and play because people don't expect us to win anyway. So it's kind of like, I mean, you go into the game with the expectation that you want to win, but the chip is off your shoulders. Like, we just go out, we have fun, we do what we do. And I mean, I felt like our defensive intensity last Last year was just on point. You know, everybody was where they needed to be. And from the first series to the finals, I mean, every single game we played, it was it was there. Now this season obviously took a little turn south. Um, you guys, <laughs> you. yeah, I mean, you know, it took a. But the thing about it is, you guys seem to be kind of, you guys seem to be peaking at the right time. What attribute to that specifically, as far as you guys starting now to gel in the second half of the season? I would say just bringing people back, and then the confidence of the team. You know, just looking at players that. I mean, when Katie went out and Aaron was out and JP, you know, out until from last year, Poland, and I mean, we had, we're bringing on, bringing in a different group. And so, you know, you look at a group that's not used to the minutes that they're playing, they're not used to being in the situation that they were in, having to play all these minutes. And that was the beginning, and now you kind of get to the middle where now they're used to being in that position, they're used to playing big minutes, they're used to being called down to make certain plays. And, you know, I feel like in the end, in the long run, it'll end up being better for us. Uh, you guys just trying to get in the playoffs and then you know let the let the spark let the magic happen as it were. Um, what is you got? What do you? What is the team's goal at this point? Well, I think continue to get better. And I mean, for us, we still struggle with the injury aspect. Katie's still out. You know, Shavante has been out for a few games, so we're trying to figure out when she's you know going to be back in the lineup. And everybody else has kind of got you know injuries here and there too. So I think for us, the biggest thing is just really staying focused on our team, continue to get better. Not necessarily do we want to just make the playoff. And of course, we want to go in you know on a high note and carry that momentum on into the. You, you being a champion, obviously you're very close to Candace Parker. You guys are pretty tight with the same alma mater, so to speak. Uh, what advice can you give her as far as getting to that championship level and obtaining that brass ring? I mean, it, it's a journey. It's a journey. It doesn't come easy, and it's one of those things where everybody has to buy into the system. But even as a leader, you know, very few times is it one person taking the whole team to a championship. You know, I really last year looking at our team and just everybody stepping up down the stretch. I mean, it really was one through 11, everybody doing their job. And I think when I look at Candace and just what she's able to do, she's an amazing player, but she's not going to be able to win a championship by herself. And looking at her teammates, I mean, Tyler stepped up big time. She's shooting the ball really well. NECA can't say enough about her and what she, the energy she brings and just how she plays. And then the whole team around, like the, the supporting cast that she has, she has to continue to, to motivate them, inspire them, you know, and just looking at the goal and looking at the big picture of what you want, try to keep everybody kind of tuned into to that final goal. Speaking on Tennessee, you were coached by one of the greatest coaches to ever coach the game in Pat Summit. What does she mean to you then as well as now on and off the court? Well, I mean, I think when you look at Pat and just the staple that she's been in the women's game, um, we've been very fortunate to have the opportunity to get to know her, not as Pat Summit, the great, but as just, you know, Pat, our coach, Pat Summit, our friend, our mentor, our mom, you know, having a relationship with someone like that. And I think just for me personally, having had the opportunity to be that close to her, I've really learned how to handle myself in certain situations and especially being on this platform and this, you know, and, and kind of like the limelight, the spotlight and everybody's watching to see what you're doing, um, thinking about how she was and how she handled herself is really like what has kind of made me the person that I am today. From Staples Center, I'm Nick Hamilton reporting.